Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to kit up uh, my Santa train tree skirt. Uh, I've done an unboxing on this. Um, so if you want to see that, it's in my playlist or I'll put a link down below. But yeah, there's quite a bit of this to do. Uh, hopefully I'm getting the uh, Christmas tree out at the weekend. So let's get cracking. Uh, I'm using my empty storage box that I got that was the aromatherapy box uh, with the little bottles in that uh, I got spare um, from AliExpress. Um, these hold between 14 and 1600, so they're uh, quite a good size. Um, I've got all my drills ready here and I've checked my code number. I've photocopied my little key code from the little legend and it's a good job I did because I've lost it. I've put it somewhere safe. Uh, it's around in my craft room somewhere. But anyway, let's uh, get this through. This is my little Zyron sticker maker. And what you do is put it face up in there, give it a quick tug. And it basically turns whatever you put through there into a sticker at the other end, which makes it easier to put onto your pots. That's my little pictures. Put those in there. Uh, a little that bit there and then where have I put my scissors and then yeah all the sticky uh, comes off on the backing paper or the forward paper on there so you can get rid of that oops all a bit off stuck to me now okay and then you can just cut these out and add them onto your little pots so if you just cut through and leave it on your little bit of paper, then you can just lift them off and get them. Uh, the first mistake I made was that I didn't leave anywhere to lift them up and I had a heck of a job getting them off the backing paper. So, yep, there's got the code, uh, the DMC number and the number of the drills. And I like to put them in like a number order, uh, which tends to be the DMC order as well. But, uh, you know, whichever way you like doing this is the way I prefer to do it. So that's, ooh, 666. Six, six. There's a lot of 666 six, six around this Christmas. I do like uh, that lovely bright red. It's a real Christmassy red. Okay, let's get these put on. Just put my little Zyron out of the way. So, yeah, I've got an awful lot. Of Christmas projects to do and I thought I'd better get cracking although this is like a partial and it's like a special project uh, I did decide that I want to uh, kit it up because there is a lot of colours uh, and it is quite a big thing to be maneuvering around and I just know that I'm going to have this on my knee or my table or whatever and if I've still got all the uh, drills in little bags I'm just going to knock them everywhere Spilly Liz will strike again and they will just go all over the place. And I can't be doing with that. Uh, my hoover comes into my living room and it's clack, 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 clack because it's picking up all the drills. And I can see it looking at me as if to say, what on earth have you spilt down here now? Um, I did manage to spill a whole tray last night. Um, I am doing, you know, that great big... 100 by is it 90 by 65 um santa express that's already pre-stretched onto a canvas board that is really difficult to work on trying to find somewhere to sit with that board because uh, i haven't really got room on my table to do it at the moment and honestly it's sliding around all over that and i can see hubby watching me and it just looks and he just shakes his head. <laughs> and then Millie tries to get on my knee. Millie, that's our little Scottish terrier. And uh, yeah, let me grab a trace, Billy Liz. Oh, where's my tray? Oh, i the outlook already. Oh dear, it's going to be one of those days. So, yes, yeah, so I managed to. It's one of those things, you know, where everything like happens in slow motion. But to you, it's going really, really fast and you can see it happening and there's absolutely nothing you can do to stop it. Yeah, it was one of those. I just put my bin to the other side so I can put these in the bin. Uh, yeah, so like I had my board balanced 
because I have to use my band magnifying light and it's got a clip on it. So it has to be clipped to something. So I was sort of like balancing the board. I had my tray on top of my board, um, on top of the canvas. And it was on a sticky pad as well, which makes it even worse. And I could just see the board start to tip and I could feel it moving. And then everything just went wee and disappeared off the end of the board. And I was just covered in drills. Millie was covered in drills. And oh dear. So fortunately I have enough of the spares. I've done a lot of craft buddy canvases. Um, that's where the Santa Express canvases come from. Um, and it's a good job because oh, I can't pick them off Millie and then you reuse them. <laughs> Even if it is for my dad, it's like, oh, dad, I've got, um, yeah, a favourite, uh, one of your favourite dogs, look, has decided to help me out with this canvas. So you've got a lot of hair fair in it. And uh, I mean, that's the other thing, making sure that she doesn't jump up on my knee when I've got, because I'm doing it in like little sections and I take one section off at a time. But I do fear that at some point she's going to jump up on my knee and uh, stick to the canvas. And that would be fun, taking all that dog fur off. I mean, she doesn't really shed Scottish Terriers. They're quite a little wiry fur, so they don't really shed. But, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't I don't fancy that at all. <laughs> Gosh, these are really big bags for little amounts of drills in. Look, you can see there's only a little tiny amount. We see lots and lots of colour changes on this one. Still, I'd say that the cat wears them. They're all crammed in, and then when I try and open them, oh, do it in order, Liz. Look, otherwise, we're going to be in a right cuff or full. Right, let's get this uh, done. Uh, I was hoping to get the tree up um, the weekend that's just gone, but we've got the new bed arriving uh, on Thursday this week. So I decided I didn't want um, the people with the bed squashing past my Christmas tree because I think I've mentioned before I collect Christmas tree toys, glass Christmas tree toys and I have some really old ones that were my mum's as well. So, you know, they are, I mean, they're not too bad. We've got carpets and um, we don't have hardwood floors. So if somebody does knock one, then it's not too disastrous that one there for now because that one's a, a spare um but if you if you drop a, a glass bulb or particularly the sort of like the old uh, really thin glass ones on the floor then if it's a wooden floor you, you just don't stand a chance it is going to shatter but carpet most of the time it won't but i won't say all the time because we do tend to unfortunately get a breakage each year which is really sad because I don't like breaking them. Right, I'm going to get not a seven and eight, so let me grab some labels and I'll put those in bottles because they're not all going to fit in there. So we want a number seven and a number eight. We'll put these in the spares. So, yeah, I don't want to overfill these. As I say, after spilling all those yesterday, oh, goodness me. I don't want to be doing that again. Right, so, let's get that in there. And that's the spares of number eight. Fortunately, we've only got 23 colours on this one, so we've got plenty of room. And seeing as I've got another bottle that... Uh, got spares in it I may as well do it this way as well it just saves messing about with scissors and packets when you're halfway through because uh, yeah what is it they say about crafting it's uh, one hour crafting and three hours trying to find the item that you just put down three seconds ago and has now disappeared <laughs> in my case it's usually scissors or my diamond painting pen where that goes I don't know um I'll remember it Number nine, yeah. Yeah, number nine. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that diamond painting pen. I stop for just to sort of like put a new drill out or just to faff about with something. And uh, yeah, I can 
can guarantee that my drill pen disappears and I stand up and I look all over for it and then it just appears back on the table and it's like, okay, somebody's messing with me. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is a nice pearly peach colour. It'd be lovely when it's done this. I will have to get it sealed as well though, so I think... Um, I'm going to have to do a mass sealing video. Maybe I can do a video sat uh, with me sealing all the projects that I've done because um, I've got a few key rings and mats and bits and pieces that do all need sealing at the moment. So I can maybe get that done. But yeah, because this it's going to be on the floor and with the best will in the world, all houses get dusty. And I mean, our door gets opened quite a bit with Millie going in and out of the garden and in and out of the garden and in and out of the garden. <laughs> Anybody that's got a dog or a cat will relate to that because she can guarantee the back door could have been open three hours and the second that you shut it, Millie wants to go out. And then she'll just sit there and look at you when you go into to open it or she'll just go and stand out in the garden just because she can. So, yeah, she's going to be walking past this. Um, there is going to be fluff. I mean, they say we've got carpets, so you get fluff off carpets and things as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, all my cobwebs that were my Halloween decorations. Uh, well, I pretended were my Halloween decorations. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. I do hoover up honest. I'm dreading to think what's underneath the bed uh, when the bed men come to deliver the bed on Thursday. That was the best one in the world. You, you just don't hoover under your bed as often as you hoover around it. Um, ours is a very heavy bed and uh, there's only me to like move stuff around now. So yeah, it does get done, but maybe not as often as it should. And uh, Millie does tend to put bones and things under there. And uh, yeah, you can be on your hands and knees at certain times. Um, and uh, she will be there with you saying, go on then, get it, get it. Uh, thank goodness Hubby has like all these disability grabber things now because I can use them to get under the bed. Before it used to be getting the duster and the broom handle and <laughs> all sorts. Getting Millie's uh, bone stash from under the bed. And, uh, well, they're not bones, they're, you know, like those dog chews and biscuit chews and things like that. Yeah, she... She's not a greedy dog. Um, she tends to hide them all the time um, until somebody comes to the house and then she has to pretend that she's not eaten for six months and, uh, and pretend that we've locked her in a cupboard and haven't fed her so that everything that um, is around about she just goes and eats and eats it like there's no tomorrow. Oh dear. Worse than kids. <laughs> Right, okay, so cracking on with these, we're on to number 18, and yep, we are on number, oh, that's 19, that's 18, oh, please make sure you get them in the right ones, just my dreaded fear to put them in the wrong ones, and then I end up with uh, my own abstract diamond painting, because all the colours are in the wrong place, <laughs> oh dear. Oops, sounds like somebody's got a Tesco's delivery. That's the uh, Tesco's lorry reverse in somewhere down the street. Ooh, <sighs> and breathe. <laughs> Butterfingers. Oh dear, and this one is number 19. Yeah, there's lots of colours and lots of small. I mean, considering, mind you, this was an expensive. Um, I think it was about £28 this, so unfortunately it's going to come out each year, hopefully, which is another reason why I want to seal it, because blimey, it did cost a pretty penny. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd better make sure it gets used a few different years. Okay, get those thrown away. one is number 21 yep, 21 Ooh, lovely purple color right this one okay. Oops, get 
glazing here. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this bed coming because the beds will work independently. So, you know, if hubby wants to sit up in bed, he can sit up and I can lay down and I won't feel him moving. And, uh, yeah, not quite sure what Millie will do though. It'd be interesting because uh, hubby's got one of those, um, like, come, oh, look, I've spilt, I've got all the way to the second to last one and then spilt, oh, flipping heck. Yeah, Hubby's, Hubby's got one of those cushions to sit on, you know, like air cushions, and it goes up and down. And, uh, Millie's quite funny when she's sat on his knee, and then she suddenly starts going up, and you can see her looking around thinking, this is odd, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, and the last one is STQO2, which is B5200. These aren't ABs, but I have got, um, a mixed bag of ABs. What I've done is put one white bag and one AB bag into a little pot so that you get like a random amount of um, B5200 mixed in with a B5200. And it looks really pretty. Uh, it seems to be better than doing them all in the AB colours. That's the Aurora Borealis, um, which is like an extra coating they put on them. Just to make them sparkle a little bit more. It's a bit like an oil on water type effect. And I do like to have an extra bit of sparkle. And I think with the Christmas lights on, on the tree, above this tree skirt, it's going to look really, really pretty. So that is my tree skirt all kitted up. And I've done that in what? About 15, 20 minutes. So it's gone really fast that one as well, even though it was only 23 colours. Maybe I'm getting better at not spilling. <laughs> okay, so that is now all tidied up. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little chat and see me kit up this lovely little train with all these Santa and the animals. We've got reindeer and a penguin and an elf and a polar bear and two snowmen in the back, a Mr and a Mrs in the back there and a lovely big tree down this side. OK, well, thanks ever so much for stopping by. If you've enjoyed seeing this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to comment down below any questions, I'll try and answer them for you. If you want to see what I get up to next, if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.